guys, this is uh, JK from How Do You Do That Golf Course Maintenance. Sorry uh, we haven't come out with very many videos over the last few months. Been really hectic and uh, busy at the golf course, but hopefully um, we'll get a few more out here soon. Um, today I wanted to sort of uh, spread a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of inspiration towards those of us, including myself, that might need it. Um, I know uh, coming up with the holidays and a lot of people tend to get a little down, a little depressed, I don't know, I mean just about different things going on in their life including myself and so um, hopefully some of these words will will inspire somebody, motivate somebody um, and hopefully I can listen to them myself and, uh, and bounce back from everything that's going on in my life. Uh, I read an article, I posted about this on Facebook the other day, but um, I read an article that said something to the effect of 60% of what we worry about is needless worrying, uh, meaning that it's not going to happen, it hasn't happened, it won't happen, or that it's out of our realm of control. And only 4% of what we worry about is actually within our realm of control. Uh, basically, to sum that up, if you're worried about that promotion, that uh, raise that you're hoping to get, or expect to get or should get whatever you can't control that what you can control is your work ethic your dedication um, being proactive if you're worried about that relationship that you're in well you can't control what somebody else feels about you what you can control is your amount of, of dedication commitment and the heart that you put into that relationship if you're worried about school um, you can't control what grades you make. What you can control is your uh, study habits, your preparation, and your commitment to, uh, to, to the homework and studying for tests. You know, all those things have one thing in common, and that one thing is the fact that we're all sort of worried about that, that end result, that goal that we're trying to attain. And we aren't really taking into uh, account the steps, sometimes baby steps, to get to that goal. And sometimes uh, sometimes the baby steps are the, the ones that are most worth it. Uh, I watched a movie several years ago, and so I forget everything that happened, but it's called Rudy. It's about this guy, uh, this kid, that really aspired to be a football player on a Notre Dame football team. And uh, he was real small, he, was real, uh, he wasn't that great, uh, sort of a long movie short. He got picked on. He got uh, teased. Everything. He didn't make the team. But at the very end of the movie, he does make the team. And he actually contributes to their game-winning drive um, in a big game. And, uh, yeah, they won the game. And so I, th I think so many of us, including myself, we sort of get caught up with wanting to be the MVP, to wanting that success. Um, and we sort of forget that we're actually on the team and we sort of forget how to play the game and uh, and so and I'm just sort of making this stuff up as I go along um, but you know success by definition um, isn't being spoon fed anything it isn't being handed given anything it's that rising from the very bottom to the very top it's about it's about striving, even when you're knocked down, to get back up and getting to where you want to be. Um, uh, there's a few quotes here. Uh, to see the rainbow, you have to get through the storm. There's another one. Um, don't worry about running from the storm. Don't worry about running from that fear of failure, uh, the failure failure of, of non-accomplishment. Um, but instead... Instead of running from the storm, we need to dance in the rain. We need to seek, <clears throat> we need to live in the moment. We need to, to seek out the storm and dance in the rain and, and just live in the moment that we've been preciously given to us. Um, each one of you is a child of God, meaning you're unique and you're beautiful. And I just hope that some of these words will sink in and that, uh, and that will rise over any type of adversity that um, we're going through. So just meditate on that, ponder that, and I look forward to coming out with a few more videos with you guys. Talk to you later.